Today's News for Tucson, live at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Overall. And I'm Angelique Lazardi. Developing tonight in Oro Valley after months of discussion and review and after four hours of discussions tonight, the Oro Valley Town Council deciding to keep 36 holes of golf operations. Ah, uh, but there will be further discussion on this issue, but this is a victory for Oro Valley residents tonight. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink live from Oro Valley with more on the story. Eric? And John, this meeting just wrapping up about a minute ago. You know, there was a real desire for those in the community here tonight to get some finality to this discussion after months of chatter, after months of strong arguments from homeowners in opposition to making any changes to the Kenyatta and Conquistador golf courses. Well, that finality coming just a moment ago in a six to one vote, council voting to keep both golf courses. They will keep a 36 hole option here in Oro Valley to both members and the public. Earlier tonight, every seat filled inside chambers. Standing room only. The town of Oro Valley bought the La Cunada and El Conquistador courses at the end of 2014 for a million dollars for a handful of months. A grassroots effort to try and save the 36 holes. This all started back uh, last summer. A primary concern, if even some of the golf were to go away, home prices could take a drastic dive. Tonight, Mayor Joe Winfield introducing a motion to keep both courses open with some conditions, including to grow membership at Conquistador to 275 members and reach 40,000 rounds of outside public play in the next couple years. Under the motion, the La Cunada Homeowners Association agrees to pay $100,000 a year for 10 years to reduce tax support in order to keep the 36-hole option. Overall, residents I spoke with say this is a win. 36 holes means that there can be peace, there can be joy, and we can all come together to celebrate the amazing place we live in. It's just part of the, part of the family here, and uh, it just uh, it, it makes us feel like we're uh, special as far as living in Anora Valley to have the beautiful golf course and being proud to live here and being proud of uh, of Oro Valley in general. And back out here live again, council voting six to one to keep both golf courses open. They will be making some modifications. Discussions will continue in the coming weeks, but again, a big victory for residents as what they fought for to try to keep these golf courses open. That will continue as planned. We're live tonight in Oro Valley. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.